All right, guys, I'm just gonna show you uh, the heads-up display and some of the neat configurations and stuff that uh, you can do with this. So I'll start show you the startup sequence and just go through a few of the different drive modes and how you can see what it does. Okay, so I'm in normal mode right now. You'll see, uh, I'll change the drive mode. Okay, let's see. Okay, normal. Still shows I've got time on the left, speed on the right, ambient temps on the, sorry, ambient on the right, speed on the left. I'm going into tow haul mode now, and you can see it changes to RPMs and speed. Now you can custom configure some of these different drive modes. Okay, now I'm going into eco mode, and it changes back. So right now, currently the modes for eco and normal look the same. Let me go to, let's see what Slippery Roads looks like. Looks like no change there. Let's see, off-road mode. Okay, that's kind of cool. What do they call that, inclinometer or whatever? It shows that you're in four-wheel drive on the left and degrees of, you know, your angles and RPMs in the bottom. Speed on the left, or sorry, on the bottom right-hand corner. All right, now, okay, so that's off-road mode. This is rock crawl mode. What do we got here for rock crawl? Looks like rock crawl is the same. The only thing it's just obviously just showing down here, uh, shift into four low. All right, all right, so there's off road, slippery, normal. Okay, pretty, pretty slick setup. Um, hey, you guys get to be the first to see this. Ooh. So cool. Um, here's another thing I thought was pretty uh, pretty neat. Let me turn the lights on. And just little little Easter eggs. I don't know if you can see. It says um, F-150 established 1948. I know a lot of others have talked about this, just how this piece slides. They did change some of this from my Raptor. This, this configuration is different. Obviously, the shifter is different here. But the positioning of stuff in... Uh, in the uh, area for the charger and the phone. I don't have this little cool tray in my Raptor. And also the center console is completely different than my, my 21 Raptor. <clears throat> All right, so now I'll show you some of the uh, different heads up display uh, menu changes. So you can ch adjust the brightness, vertical, uh, image rotation, now content. This is where you can change. So. What do you got? Miles to empty, driver assistance, pitch and roll off road. Let's see, back. Drive mode layout and see you can change. So I got mine set to automatic. It, it will go in between all these different modes. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of some other configurations that are different on this than my Raptor. Obviously the digital gauges look a little different from the 21 to 23 uh, Raptor. Um, Obviously, you got your engine braking here, um, your cameras. Let's see, I'll show you some of the different camera views. So this layout is a little different. I, I honestly think the camera quality feels a little more higher resolution than my 21 Raptor. Um, the menu, this is different too. Pretty cool. Yeah, still, that's, that's all the same on my truck, uh, my Raptor. Bed camera view, yep, same as the 2020 um let's see what else is different so this is new so i didn't have this on my 2020 f350 and i don't have this on my raptor the only way this was accessible before is when you have a trailer connected so um that's kind of neat and then let's see what's this one okay so this will be for when you have a trailer connected uh let's see let's go back to just a full, full view all right camera off um yeah i got like i think that's like trail descent mode um, parking sensors, I'm trying to think if there's any other apps or anything else that I see is like drastically different. The biggest thing I'd say is I've noticed between my 21 Raptor and I've got the latest updates to the APIM is, uh, is this just feels a little different. Like the, the, the button layouts and stuff are, they're shaped a little differently. Nothing too crazy. Um, I'm trying to think what else menu still the same. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. More great videos to come.